A protest against masks at Boston Spa High School continued today, but there was something missing. The students, Sabrina Dami, continues our coverage of that situation. Sabrina. Jerry, the Boston Spa mask protest is one of the most talked about stories on our social media sites today. So new today, some students did not go to school today as part of this protest. As we reported last night on News Channel 13 Live at 11, more than 75 students were sent to the library at the high school when they arrived with no masks on and refused to put one on. I spoke with a student who took part in that protest. He says even though he and dozens of others remained in the library all day yesterday, they were still marked absent. And the school superintendent confirms that with me today. So today, some of those students decided to just stay home. Cameron Cox, a junior at Ballston Spa High School, tells me at least 25 of his friends stayed home today. What would you like to say to your principal, to the school superintendent? Um, what kind of message do you think they should hear. I think they should hear that the voices today was only the beginning of it and there's so many more people that support us and will come out to support us if we keep doing this. This will not end until there is a change. Boston Spa Superintendent Ken Slentz sent a letter to parents last night saying while he understands the frustration around this, the district is following state and federal rules with masks in school and on the school bus. Jerry. All right, Sabrina, thanks.